RTX 8000. It's a GPU that costs as much as a 4090, yet it can kick 4090's ass. Not at gaming of course, but at production. And the reason why is because it comes with a state-of-the-art cooling fan, 2.5 power connectors and a whopping 48 gigs of memory. And a few other awesome features that not many know or even less care about, including myself. I myself could use one of those for my video editing, like all the professionals out there, but I can't afford one, so instead I'll try to fix it. Hello Internet! This is RTX 8000. Came in with no detect, so let's figure out why it's not detected anymore and see if we can fix it. Before we start, I have a question to NVIDIA engineers bragging about testing the RTX 8000 in their lab. Why don't they test Founders Edition cards the same way as this? And why all the Founders Edition cards have backplate, but this one does not? Can we have both, please? No? Anyway, right now my only concern is a no detect, so let's power on and see what it does. It looks like it powered on no problems, so let's boot this from a PC and see if we get a picture. Nope, no picture. Okay, let's boot into the Windows and see if Windows can detect this card. And according to the device manager, it is not there. Linux also says that no such thing exists, so it looks like we have a true no detect situation. There are several reasons for no detect. Starting from data lines and front and the back, followed by clock reference pins and the PEX reset pin, none of which look suspicious. Next, I want to see if the PEX reset logic is working, and for that, we need to find it. To do that, I will place one probe on a PCI Express PEX reset pin and try to find a 5-pin transistor anywhere on the board that's directly connected to this pin. This one here is connected to one of the inputs, so first thing I want to see if this chip is powered. And I have 1.8 volt on the VCC. No output, which explains no detect. First input and the second input are good. And when I measured the output again, it started working for some reasons, but not soon enough for the motherboard to detect it. Looks like this transistor has lost its mind, so let's replace it and see if it helps. Transistor replaced, so let's see if we get an output right away. And it looks like we do. Now let's plug in the display cable and see if we get a picture this time. Perfect. Picture's back on, meaning the card is now detected and the memory test has passed. And without the need to assemble anything, the card passed the stress test and is working as it should. Wish all my repairs were like that, but oh well. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Goodbye.